I honestly, I was just, I'm like, who am I? And like the sound of my voice and like, blah. So that's everything that everyone goes through. And I, I can still remember the original audio when I first started in broadcasting 30 years ago. <laughs> um, but I still have some of those early clips of that same thing because your voice in your head is not the voice of the room that people hear. One of the first things to get over is you got to get used to understanding what your room voice is, not your head voice. Mm -hmm. And as podcasters listen to their shows, the first thing they do is, ah. <laughs> no. And I don't want to see myself. And like, what if people, what if I stumble on my words? What if I ask a dumb question? What if I don't know what to ask? And it's like, especially when you're interviewing or being interviewed by people that are like, you know, they've been around and it can be intimidating. And uh, you feel like oh, a little yeah. fish in like a bowl. And so I just honestly, for me, it was more like just focus on the content. If I could share one nugget to one person and it helped them then that's all I care about. 